So you are being encouraged to prepare for the potential for power outages. First Energy says its electrical system can handle extreme weather, but the ice, that's the concern of putting a lot of stress on equipment. Right now, First Energy says they're talking to utility companies in neighboring states about possibly sending in some reinforcements to help here in Ohio. They're also encouraging all of us, though, to prepare by packing up an emergency kit with a flashlight, first aid materials, extra batteries, and medications that you need. Yeah, the ice, a lot of ice, Trent, that you're worried about here. Yeah, and it becomes an issue as far as power outages, trees, power lines, things like that. It gets heavy. I mean, ice is, uh, ice is a big concern. And I think that's for the areas. Uh, I know watch and warning. The difference is, one, you have the ingredients. Two, it's imminent. It's happening. The, the watch means you have things in place that potentially could lead to, uh, you know, things happening. And in the warning area, you have things happening. Everybody in the area, don't get caught up on if you're just in a watch or just in a warning. Everybody across the area will have impacts from this storm, whether it's ice, whether it's snow. Uh, thankfully, wind's not a major concern. Wind will not be that strong, thankfully, but uh, the, the, the impacts from the snow and ice on their own. I mean, it stretches all the way back. The, the, the warnings go all the way back through Kansas into Colorado. The uh, watch goes all the way back into with the ice potential all the way back into Texas. Downtown right now, we're not bad, but that's what's coming our way is that winter storm. We're at 28 degrees right now. Southeast winds at 13. It's that south breeze that's going to help us warm up today. I mean, compared this morning to yesterday morning, we're what 10 to 20 degrees warmer right now. Well, that continues into the afternoon. We're back up into the low 40s later on this afternoon. It's going to be a warm compared to where we've been. A warm, our first warmer than normal day in a couple of weeks. So try to enjoy it and prep for what's coming. I think today we're good. I think this afternoon we're good. 40 to maybe even near 50, but overnight tonight, that's when those showers start to roll in here. A couple showers overnight, and then that transition from rain to snow happens tomorrow. I'll show you timing plus how much on that Super 7 day coming up.